أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم صل على Brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. When we get together to do the amals of Laylatul Qadr, whether it was the 19th, it is the 21st tonight or 23rd, the amals can be distinctively divided into three parts. The first part is about istighfar, that we are seeking forgiveness for our sins. The second part is the Quran and the third part is the Holy Prophet and Ahlul Bayt Salawatullahi wa salamu alayhi When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises that his treasures are open for us today that we all, all we have to do is to ask. We need to understand that there is something that is blocking us from receiving His mercy. His mercy is abundant. His mercy is continuously flowing. The problem is with us. The problem is that we have something with us that is not allowing for the mercy to come to us. Nabiullah Nuh alayhi salam when he was talking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Surah Nuh is a very interesting surah because it is like Prophet Nuh reporting to Allah giving him a brief account of what he has done in his life so he says فَقُلْتُ and I told them I told these people فَقُلْتُ اسْتَغْفَرُوا رَبَّكُمْ إِنَّهُ كَانَ غَفَّارًا then I told them seek forgiveness from your Lord for he is all forgiving يُرْسِلْ عَلَيْكُمْ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مِدْرَارًا He is going to send abundant mercy from the skies for you. وَيُمْدِدْكُمْ بِأَمْوَالٍ وَبَنِينٍ وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ جَنَّاتٍ وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ أَنْهَارًا And that he is going to give you abundance in wealth, in children, is going to give you gardens and rivers on this earth. If we think that istighfar is only for the hereafter, that Allah forgive us our sins, Nabi Nuh established during his lifetime that even what you are asking for this world, in this world, you are not getting it because you don't have istighfar. Because you have sins that are blocking this. So when we sit and do istighfar, remember, this istighfar is not only for the hereafter that you want to go with a clean slate. It is for your hajat in this world as well. It is for our hajat when we ask for prosperity, for stability, for security, for prosperity of our children. When we ask for all these things, if we have sins that are blocking, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not give us our mercy. We will not be able to take from his mercy and when we come to the Quran brothers and sisters I do not need to emphasize the importance of the Quran the Quran itself on the day of judgment will be allowed to lead people to paradise there are du'as taught by our Imam there's du'as that when you want to ask for anything ask through the wasila of the Quran the Holy Quran and we are not even going down the path of understanding the contents, understanding the message of Allah, applying that, all that in its own place. At the same time, it is our seal to be used to get from what we want to Allah. And the last thing, of course, uh, I don't need to emphasize, we are all muhabbi ahl al-bayt alayhi salam the role of every Imam every Imam and so when we get together to pray when we get together to pray let us remember the first part that we will be doing will be istighfar for clearing that blockage from Allah's mercy getting to us and then praying using the Quran and then praying using the wasila of the 14 ma'asumin and it is important for us that when we are reciting these prayers all together that we wonder and soar in our minds when we talk of all
all the Imams, when we talk of the seventh Imam, we remember the Kadmin, we remember the troubles he went through. When we talk of the eighth Imam, we remember the time he had the difficulty when he was banished to that one remote area. And he is the only Imam who is buried in a remote place and so on. We need to be engaged with our minds to be thinking of these things. That will help us engage with Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that on this very night may he forgive all our sins inshallah and the sins of all our near ones, our dear ones, our parents, our children, our friends, our neighbors, especially those who have all re uh, requested us to remember them in the, our prayers. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all our prayers inshallah. Rabbana taqabbal minna inna أنت السميع العليم. We will start by reciting the munajat of Imam Ali al-Islam. This was a munajat that the Imam.